So picture this scenario. You have um, an API where you created your test. So you have here a Jokes API. If you don't know it, I'll post a link uh, to a video where I presented this. And you have written all your tests and you're happy with it. But your management comes and says, does it scale? Can you do some performance testing? Well, of course you can do performance testing in Postman, and I have a video on that as well, which I'm going to link. But what if I told you you can take this uh, test that you made in Postman and convert them to K6 in less than five minutes? Don't believe me? I'll show you how it's done. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is you just go here and you do export. You will want to export your collection in a format that is um, supported by the K6, sorry, by the Postman to K6 converter, which I'm going to show you. So always select the latest version. So we have collections V21. You perform export and then give it a nice name and store it somewhere that you will not lose it. Now, once you did the export, we're going to need to install this Postman to K6 converter. And this is pretty easy to be done. And we'll go step by step. Don't worry, I said five minutes. You're going to have everything in five minutes. So I have here a brand new empty folder, empty project. I'm just going to go to the terminal. And since we're going to need uh, an NPM package, I'm going to do NPM in it. And we're going to just enter all of the information. So package name, which we're just going to leave while it it's there. You can add description or you can just skip it and add it later and do enter. Now that you have the package JSON created, that means this project is a node package. Sorry, a node project, not a node package. And now we want to install our converter. And for that, we perform the command npm install. I'm going to do it globally, so npm install minus g and then add a pdeck postman to k6. Now, depending on your computer, this may take a few seconds, but we're still going to be in the five minute range. I'm going to just pause it right now and come back once all has been installed. And it installed everything right now. Uh, and well, I could have just installed it yeah, locally uh, for the project, not globally, but I put it globally because I want to use it in other projects as well. Um, and now I need to copy the the collection right here. So you just to add file. So we just need to copy in the same place. And once we have that, we just do Postman to K6. And we need to modify the name. So it's not collection.json, it's, oh, that's a lot. It's jokes.postman underscore collection.json. And we're going to convert it to k6 script.js. And we script k6 script right here. And if you saw the other videos that I have in the series regarding k6, the format is pretty familiar. Now, once we have, so as you can see, we also have the, um, the validations in place. So everything that we had before is right here. Now we can just go ahead and run this. So we do K6 run and our K6 script. Just make it a little bit bigger and this will run our script that we have right here. We have only one scenario, one max, one virtual user, and we see that it performs all of our checks and it's pretty similar to what we are used to. Now, one important thing, um, as you can see, we do have options here by default put in by the generator, uh, but you can change this. So we can change to have a different number of virtual users, a different duration, and just change it right now. And if I perform the running of the script again, we see that we have 
a different number of maximum users so the test takes longer because we have more users but it will be limited to a minute and we see we have errors we have some issues but that is to be investigated and to see what causes the issue is it my changes is it the actual code is it the api and if you check the timestamp we are under five minutes as promised so as always thank you for watching the video do not forget to rest and test and i'll see you in the next one have a good one and bye bye